Well, we're in downtown, and I want all the 38 ammo I can pick up. After picking your See this up, guy and get a free stat. Very important. Getting brawl up is a great way to uh, improve your chances of feeding. Don't forget there's a morphine bottle here. And in the middle of the floor here, there are three bottles in the hospital. And here. I get this quest as soon as possible. And don't forget to pick up the $50. There's a ring in this room. We don't have enough persuasion to do the Patty quest and some other quests. We have to wait until after we finish downtown to improve persuasion that we can always come back and do those quests later. And that includes Larry. I can't do the traffic quest. First thing, I have to wait. But as soon as we come back from the museum, we'll be fine. Dominate makes this super easy, and I think this is the way the developers intended uh, Dominate to be, and it feels it feels right. Dominate should be very powerful. I don't like that it's been weakened in the plus patch. You can go outside and get blood, or you can just feed on that guy, and then plenty of blood to take out these three. And the reason I'm taking these guys out is because I want the ammo. Just loading up on free ammo. Which makes a huge difference in the amount of money I have at the end of the game. Yep, and this is the easy way to do this quest. Okay, I have 30 XP. I really don't need the 30. Okay, I talk to Nines and get the second point in melee, and I'll get three and four from books. Time's up. Come around in a few nights if you're still alive. Maybe I'll have time to kill. And it's definitely worth it, because there are a lot of characters, a lot of NPCs that are just really easy to kill with melee. I still can't talk to Patty, because persuasion isn't high enough. Money, right? I have to right talk here. to Beckett, and we can start collecting money. Okay, I always go from confession through the underground into this hotel and do all the quests inside the hotel. And we do lose a humanity by doing this. And I go see Pisha. Okay, this is a very easy quest for either a Ventru or this clan. Just very, very easy. Because of Dominate. But this character, I, I definitely don't want this character to get in a fight. Because we don't have fortitude or presence. You know, we're a little more vulnerable.
And you might be thinking, well, Blood Shield would be okay. Yeah. But Blood Shield comes off every time you go through a loading screen. So we pick up this item. This quest is just on rails. I mean, we're just pick up another morphine bottle. Get the key and get these very, very nice blood packs. You know, we're a blood mage. We're going to we plan on using blood packs. And I plan on using blood magic against Ming Zhao, so I'm going to need some blood packs. In fact, I've purchased, um, by this point, I think, two blue blood packs. And eventually we'll have ten. These NPCs are also a good uh, source of blood. I want a little more blood, so I'm going to tranch this guy and feed on him. He's just a good source of blood. I think there are two, two NPCs in these rooms. They're just free blood bags. Then there's a guy upstairs, free blood bag, another morphine bottle. There's a ring on the floor. I have a shotgun on hotkey, but I don't need it. Yeah, that's definitely the way to do that guy. Dominate. Okay, I'm showing you that I'm moving to trance. And I can trance this guy. And I can trance the last guy or hit him with level 3 dominate. Doesn't make any difference. I have plenty of blood. Of course, I have blue blood packs. But don't need them. Just dominate. Yeah, dominate takes you through very easily. No damage. Very nice. Evening there. Something burning? Ooh, smells like someone burnt the burgers. Uh, sure, I'll open her up for you. I want you to take some of the money. I push Heather for money. I, I usually forget to do this, but I'm showing you that I push her for as much money as I can get out of her. And that makes a big difference, too. I usually forget, to be honest. I rely on persuasion and picking up lots of items to do it for me. But in this game, I'm trying to squeeze out every penny just to do it and see how much money I can have. and. Again, it's ridiculous. I've maybe done this quest a few times too many. Okay, at this point I just wait for the guard to pass by. I want to get behind the guard and then time the cameras. Nope, the camera's coming in my direction. Give it a moment, it'll turn. Now I can see the other camera's pointed right at me, so I'll just stop here, wait till these cameras go back the other way, and we'll be fine. I can trance 
a guard if he comes down the toward me, but I know the routes of the guards and I shouldn't have any difficulty. So notice how I just waited for the cameras to do their cycle. And I only need to sneak to this point. From this point on, I don't have to sneak at all. Okay, that camera can actually detect you. So I'm going to wait for him to turn just a little bit, and now we're fine. Then I'm going to wait for the guard to pass this, this room. So I'm going to edit that out, but I'll just wait here. A guard will, another guard will come by, and I'll get behind him, as you can see. And I thought I was going to get detected here. Not that it mattered, but that was pretty close. I didn't. It didn't have to be that close. I should have waited for the camera to turn. So I'm now waiting it for it to come back another cycle. And as soon as it goes about to there, I should be okay. Again, I don't have to sneak to this um, to here. And I don't care a little bit about getting detected, so we certainly don't care now. We're just going to run because we have Dominate. So I have Trance ready to go. Don't care. I just happened to time that pretty well, but again, don't care. because trans. And there we go. And we get the bonus points. And most important, we get scholarship three. We can now go into the fourth point, which we need because we need persuasion. And we can now do all the persuasion checks for the rest of the game. We're good to go. And we need persuasion, first of all, for this guy, because I don't want to lose a humanity. And I'm also going to dance a little bit because I'll just stack up another humanity. It's unnecessary. And I now have enough persuasion to do the Larry quest. So what I'm showing you is for this clan, because we don't start with the third point in uh, Charisma, because we just start with no points that we can play in Charisma, um, we're only going to play the first point, and we're depending entirely on the museum quest th to get Charisma up, and then we can do all the persuasion checks in downtown. And we're fine. We're fine for the rest of the game now. And in fact, that's eight points that we don't have to spend. That eight, Those eight points will go into disciplines, which is pretty good. This is one of the things that's going to allow us to get um, and as soon as they drop the money, I bend over, pick it up. Level five in all three disciplines. Okay, I want all the free ammo. Okay, there's that guy. And I might as well get free blood while I'm here. And don't forget the car stereo. So Larry gives us the second point in finance. Yeah, my Ventru play through, I screwed that up. I confused it with the plus patch, but yeah. Now we're in Hollywood right now, and Trance does what Trance does, but we're still really in downtown. I'm just loading up on armor and weapons, and we're going back to downtown. And one of my favorite weapons, the automatic shotgun, great mid-game weapon, also good, not bad in the end game. 
Good weapon. Going to read some books and get our skills up a little bit. Brawl, dodge, melee, security. 37 XP. Don't forget to pick up the free ammo from Romero and do his easy quest. I never do the kill the zombies uh, quest. Never. And I'm never going to do it again. Now, Blood Salvo is supposed to be perfect for that quest, by the way, but I have no interest in doing that quest. Um, and I really don't want to invest in Blood Salvo right now. It's a lot of XP and... Blood magic isn't that good. Well, in the basic patch, it's not that good. Okay, we're going to finally have to do some fighting. And what I'm trying to do is spend the least amount of money to get the biggest payoff. Blood purge is underwhelming. My f one of the most fun disciplines in Bloodlines, but in the basic patch, it doesn't work the way you want it to. It just does like 15 points of damage or something. It's terrible. I'm just trying to calculate what gives me the biggest payoff. Yes, I like being overpowered for all fights. That's the whole point of being a power gamer. You can have the conversation with her through the wall, and then you're outside, and she has difficulty coming outside of the room. She can do it, but she has difficulty. It allows me to get my disciplines up. Yep, no damage, and we're fine. And we finally get the finance book. And there we go. Now I'm going to sell all the things that I've been storing in my refrigerator and Santa Monica, and it's quite a bit. I'm just showing you this so you can see how many items you should have by this point. And it's a hefty sum of cash. And also I was able to store multiple knives, baseball bats, tire that. irons yeah, in the refrigerator. And she holds your money for you, and you can just let it pile up. I think it's $1,700 or something over the course of the game. And you, as long as you remember to pick it up by the end. All specs and the automatic shotgun. stereo right here and I'm gonna kill these guys with the 38 
But what I want to show you is it takes three shots with the 38, maybe four, three or four to kill these guys with the 38. But I have over 100 rounds that are free. And then I have the shotgun also ammo was free. But here's what else I can do. I can just blood strike and then two bullets or I can blood strike twice and one bullet. So I can kill a hundred of these zombies. Technically. I mean, it's all free ammo and I'm going to get more free ammo. So the point is I can keep... All Specs has a long runtime. And I can keep all specs on the whole quest, actually through all of these very long quests, like the Hollowbrook, and just use Blood Strike to keep the all specs going. And so my blood stays up, I don't have to feed. Of course, there are plenty of rats here to feed on, but I don't have to. Two, two Blood Strikes and a bullet, a 38, takes these guys out. So it's just mechanical. One, two, bang. So I can kill another 80 zombies usually using that method because I have 80 bullets of 38. And I don't know how many rounds of shotgun ammo I have. Now, if, if you hit someone with blood strike and you kill them, with that strike, you don't get blood back, which is why you want the... If you know it's three shots to kill an NPC, you want the last shot to be a bullet because you don't get blood back from blood strike. You just lose blood. So yeah, you'll kill them, but it'll cost you a unit of blood. Pro plays. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. And oddly, this does matter. Okay, their furniture blocked the return of blood. Not a big deal. We're back up to full. And there's a ring to pick up here. And then we just repeat for the last floor. I'm going to go with the Glock, because it shoots a little faster. All specs is on. Now I have automatic um, renew disciplines on, so all specs is just going to stay running the entire time. I have blood strike up so I can get blood as I wanted. I'm getting rid of these guys who are going to attack me. And there should be one more. And I can blood strike this guy too. Yeah, I can blood strike him. Now to get blood back, if you want to just kill him, you can hit him ten times with blood strike, but you're only gonna get one blood one unit of blood back. So if you want to keep getting blood back, what you have to do is you have to wait until the blood is on the way back before you hit him with blood strike again. So what I'm doing is I'm shooting him and then just hitting him with blood strike. Now one of the things that I love about the basic patch is I don't get this stupid, horrible, game-breaking, immersion-breaking hand animations, which I detest. So you can just shoot and use disciplines, no interruption, and it's all good. You just play. This is the way the game was designed. You're not a mage. You're a vampire. So, I don't know what the hand animations are about. They're as unimmersive as having magic wands or staves. I, it doesn't fit. Uh, I wish they were removed. So, anyway, this is the easy way to do it. You keep, keep hitting him with blood strike. If he comes close, you hit him with the automatic shotgun. And that takes him out pretty much right away. If he stays back, the 44 Magnum and Blood Strike.
I don't think we use blood buff the rest of the game, but that finishes downtown. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time.